Hello, everybody. It's John. And Gavin. And welcome to the Box Break Tier. Yes. We are here breaking our first box of Zendikar Rising. And if I, you're watching this and you're like, Box Break Tier. So what we do is we open a box. And then each, we call them slots. But what that means is all the five colors of magic, multicolored, colorless, and lands. Yeah. So you go to Patreon, you give us $20 a month. U.S. only, that, that includes shipping, so if you're in the U.S., that $20 gets you the cards and shipping. What happens is I do it on the computer, put your names in with the slots, randomize, boom, you got that slot. Yep. Uh, and then you get you win all those cards yep. for 20 bucks. And then right now, because we are, have exactly eight, we do two box breaks, so those eight people get two box breaks for $20. Yep. Once we start getting more than eight, what's going to happen is everybody's guaranteed at least one box break, and then after that, you start randomizing yeah. to see who falls into the box break first. And but then, then we'll have eight people at every break. We'll have eight people on every break. And the more people we have, the more breaks we do. Yeah. We make zero money. No, off we, of this. we spend money. We actually spend money to be able to do the two box breaks a month for, the, for our Patreon. It's just so we have stuff to open. Yeah. It's, but that's a way to help us pay for it, basically. Yeah, it's helping us put content out there and getting magic cards in your hands for a great deal. Yeah, because so, what we were doing before is we were opening the boxes and then just trying to sell the stuff on eBay. But this way, you guys get cards, and then we get to make more content. Exactly. So go to our Patreon, sign up. Uh, we want to thank our founder level tier, uh, Matt Rush, Matt and Rush, the Kingdom Cards and, and the games. Kingdom Cards and Games. Thank you so much for being a founder level tier, and then uh, welcome to the box break tier brandon g yes who just signed up right before we started doing yeah, this a nice little conversation yeah i talked to him the at the store and he seemed very interested and signed up so now he's going to so get hopefully brandon you enjoy the box break you're getting yeah getting into the box break we'll do one now and we'll do another one next week kind of this spread oh you want to do one next week yeah i don't want to do both of them back to back let's we'll give some some That's space cool. and then um yeah so go to do that go to our social medias and all that good stuff and we'll uh Let's get into this. And we're back. Yes. Sorry, I'm just going to this thing so I can see our live thing going on. Okay, so I got all the stuff here. Uh, for the randomization. Yes. Of the slots. And then we get all the people's names here. I think it's supposed to go the other way around, wasn't it? Wait, we do mm -hmm. the names and then we go colors. Yeah. Maybe we go to... I was do it like this. Boop. Just because it works better in my brain. Random! Boop. Yeah, like that. There we go. ka -chow. All right. So we got so. Cody, got white. Yep. Matt, red. Sheen, got the lands. Uh, Jonathan, blue. Justin, Justin black. black. Oh, no, multicolor. Multicolor? Sorry. Brandon, you got black. Brandon got black. Aaron, P got the green and Andy colorless. colorless. Good show. And look at that, Brandon. Even though you signed up tonight, Boop. In the we got you guys too. the laser cut uh, yes. name badge. Hot off the presses. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it's done, people. If you have any other questions and you want to join our box breaks tier and you don't know what's going on, just ask. I, I'm just typing. Uh, to our people, what? Uh, uh, slice this. Whoa, bam. And we do get a box topper. Yes. John, I'm going to keep those. Because mm -hmm. that just helps. Helps offset shipping costs. Yeah. And I'm real excited to open that. Do you want to open that, though? You can open it. All right. There's our box topper. Classically, I'm taking the middle packs. Oh, man. Japanese, all loosey-goosey. Oh. Give your pick. That's all the... All the mythics, buddy. All the mythics. All the mythics are in the... Half and half there. 
All right. It's supposed to be six and six. Yep. And then I would save my middles for last. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna start from the right. What's that? The right? Whatever you split. All right. Let's open this first. Oh yeah. Oh, Don't mess it up. Uh, these are so hard to open this time. Mm. All right. Boom! Bountiful Promenade. Oh, that's kind of a poopy one. Mm. It looks cool, though. Some of the art on these is not good, but that looks cool. Yeah. Why couldn't you open up a good one? I don't know. But that's a thing. That's a thing. All right. Now let's get into this. Again, these are the right packs. I postulate that the middle packs are always the best. And that is why I'm adamant about taking them. So we've got this little tip boy here. Goes in with the lands. Ooh, we got a foil in the first pack. Foil, Dranus, Silencer. That's 17, 36, 38. That's cool. So. Scoot your hands to the left. Thieving Skydiver. Oh. We'll just kind of start putting these where they go. Mythic right mythic, away. Right away. Hashtag mythic. Goes to call. So that's Cody. The, that's the one that you got as your uh, pre release, uh, pre -release. promo. Multi red. So tell me, guys, are you guys excited for. Oh, I got a full art. Oh. Uh, bright climb pathway there for sure. And nice. It's one of those cool flip lands. Man, borderless on both sides. That's sweet. Check this out, guys. Borderless on both sides. That's nice. Lands. My God, Mythic. In your face. That was on the right side, so one Mythic so far, right? Yep, we're at one so far. And these full art lands in this set this is so nice. Yeah, it's big value. Well, this. Nice. Limbala. Limbala. Shield of the Seagate. Multicolor. I really like that we're revisiting uh, Zendikar again because last time it got left in shambles after the wars with the Eldrazi. And now the people of Zendikar are using the remnants of that war to rebuild. Kind of like the D&D &D kit that you guys are currently in. History lesson. Yes. A magic history lesson. Yeah, I was still in high school when those sets were coming out. That was where the expedition first started. Six man. I got a sweet expedition did. from a discounted pack of the kingdom, and it had a big old print riding through it. Riding yes, through it did it. have a big print line on it. <laughs> first foil over here, Ravenger's Mace. Oh, cool! I put a dog foil one of those. Mall of the Sky Clay. Sky Clay. That's cool. Nice. So basically, what we do is we just, you know, show off the spice and then we just sort. Sort, basically. I really like these new double face things for the proxies. That's mm -hmm. very cool. Ooh, Foil Mountain. Oh, that's a nice looking Foil Mountain. And a Mythic Leyline Tyrant to go along with this Foil Red. Mountain. Cool. There uh, we go. Matthew, got yourself a nice one. Hey, what's up? What's up? Oh, Peter's over there. Matt's over there live on YouTube. And so is Aaron. Nice to see you guys hanging out. Hopefully everybody's enjoying. Not getting to play pre-release. Soul Shatter. Stupid Wizards of the Coast. Did the, did the Wizards of the Coast shatter your soul? Yeah, they shattered our soul. They sure shattered they, a lot of people's souls. They didn't let us have pre-release. They were like, no. so, I mean, I get, I can see both sides, but it's just like, oh, here's that ox that you like. Yeah, the kidney ox. I got a Relic Robber. Oh, it's got Tuck Tuck's head on it. <laughs> Ah, Tuk Tuk is so cool. There's a there's a little magic lore 
rabbit hole for you guys to go down is the story of Tuck Tuck. Swarm Scrambler. Shambler. Shambler. I think that's probably tied with Belden's story for my favorite magic story. One of those sweet. Ooh, that's, that's cool. real pretty. This guy played pickaxe. I have a dead worm. Just a dead worm. Dead worm. Opposed to a live worm. We're into the middles. So you are. I'm, I'm ready for the spice. I'm still on the right. This is my last right pack. So we got two mythics on the right side, though. Uh, this guy. Warhog. Boar. Warthog boar. Yasharm. Yasharm. Inplaceable Earth. Oh, that's a multicolor. Alright, now I'm into the left. So we're two mythics so far, one third of the box. Oh, foil. Foil rare. Nice. More. You sure? For uh, Justin. Not not the best foil rare we can No, we already got that rare. Myriad Code And Cargan. You know, we haven't hit another mythic, so. No, this box is a slow bird so far. As far as super spice goes. Oh, shit. Just yeah, just throw packs everywhere, John. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool, right? Real professional. Mm -hmm. You guys see what I get to work with all the time? This freaking game, too. I only want green M&Ms, dig it! Only green packs! Only green packs. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Valakut exploration here. Let's check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's not a double-sided one. But that looks sweet. This guy. This guy. Varals. Or Verizol. Wow, that sounds like a product from the 50s. <laughs> Verizol. Take it and you won't itch in places anymore. <laughs> 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 There's always definitely a product that helps you not itch in places anymore. <laughs> Ooh, this new landfall guy. I'm a sucker for these cards. Look at this pretty, this pretty alternate art on this common. Gets plus two, plus two whenever you play a land. Like pretty sick. I, lo I love the uh, real cheap like landfall decks whenever mm -hmm. we go back to Zendikar. Those are always good little F and M. Pete says he likes new camera setup. I think this is a new camera setup, is it? I don't know. No. This person. Green. Tajaru Paragon. Tajaru Paragon. Tajaru. Tajaru. Dijeri dude. I think that guy's really good because he does make, he checks all your boxes for the party. Yeah. He's Didgeri do Paragon. Didgeri do Paragon. John and Words. John and Words. Got that bad name for company. If I can't say it, I just make something else up. Yeah, I haven't heard you uh, say anything too crazy yet, though. Mm -hmm. Didgeridoo Paragon is pretty much <laughs> the, like the cream of the crop. What do you do with these mm -hmm. red cards where the white cards go? Gavin and Things. Another foil, Acquisitions Expert. That's actually a pretty looking card. Ooh, that's really cool. Oh, and then the double land. Nice. Land. Which one do I want to be? Mountain or planes? Mountain or planes? Yeah, I think that's really one. What like I feel like that's a drawback they did not need to give those lands is they could have given those basic land types. Uh -huh. Mythic Nahiri, heir oh. of the ancients. Nice. There we go for Justin. There we go. Nothing in like my ruined crab. Oh yeah. Crab. Now that's a better version of Hedron crab. Uh -huh. So I think that card's actually pretty cool. But Andy got the spicy artwork for it. Yeah. So that's very nice, very nice for Jonathan. Again, I apologize for how weird I sound, guys. I just had the doctors do funny things to my face. So that was, that was our third mythic, right? Third mythic so And far. it's a planeswalker, which yeah. there's not that many planeswalkers. In this. No, there's only two or three. There's three. 
Nissa Jace Mahiri. Got Crag Plate Bayloth. Night Hawk Scavenger. Oh, is that the new Vampire Nighthawk guy? Yeah, it is. Oh, Flying what the heck? Punch. It's one plus star over three. So wait, so it gets its power is equal to one plus the number of card types. In the, oh, wow. He's got a uh, Tarmogoyf thing going on. That's cool. Hmm. That card's really good. Brandon, you just got that one. Yeah, very good. That's definitely going to see some standard play. Gold Daz Mucklord. That's a cool crocodile. Utility knife. Sort three epics. We're definitely two thirds of the way into this box. John equals Wordsmith. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> oh, another foil. I got Bran Branch Loft Pathway or Boulder Loft Pathway. Highborn Vampire. Foily. That's cool. Oh, Mythic. Oh, and it's the super busted guy again. Ancient Green Warden. Mythic, Mythic. There you go, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron gets a Mythic. Mythic for Aaron. The one that they're going to ban, probably. It's very good. I don't think it'll get banned, but I've heard lots of talk of people at the store thinking it's going to get banned. Because there's a very good green-black deck to be had out of this set. And then you put some blue in it, you know what you get to play? Uro. Because <laughs> we needed more stuff to make that card Uro playable. There, yeah. Chantrix. Cherix. Chantix. Chantix. Help you quit smoking yep. and start doing the crab. Doing crabs. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Foil anti-cognition. Dude, this is John whenever he tries to say words. Anti-cognition. <laughs> I've got Magmatic Channel. And this card's really good, too. There's lots of talk about that guy. In, uh, one of the modern Facebook groups I'm in. I do like the foil one we got of this. Yes. Prowling Felidar. Foil weird. show. You this know what this, this, you know right. this artwork kind of reminds me of? No Man's Sky. Yes, it does. It's a No Man's Sky card. We'll call this No Man... Well, that's the type of artwork. That's in this is No Man's Sky style. Because then the car is all about the like big landscapes and floating the adventures. Things. Yes, floating things. Avatar. Avatar. Oh, Mythic! Oh, and it's a Black Mythic Scourge of the Skyclaves. There you go, Brandon. Our new Patreon right there. Got a coveted prize for Brandon. On to Nectar Pot. Card's fine. Copy. It's a copy token. Sky Clave Shade. Shade. When it's sunny outside, you'll need the shade. You'll need that shade. To throw shade. He can't be blocked. I'm just gonna throw some shade. <laughs> Boom! On to inversion. Destroy all permanents or it's a win. Seems good. Seems pretty good. There's lots of talk of people just jamming a bunch of these land spells instead of basics into their decks. I, I, I'd like to see that. Quid. Oh, also, makes Goblin Charbelcher decks in Legacy better. <laughs> That's definitely a thing. Yeah, I would definitely like to try like a modern Charbelcher oh, with another a bunch of these. Oh, Seagate Restoration? Very nice. So what is it's that, land. five? Yeah, land. Could be a land. Sorcery. Land sorcery. I've only hit one, one mythic on the middle this time. Ooh, check that out. Foil. Fearless Flood. So is that the... What is that? Is that... Is that because it's a, it's a flip card, but it's sorcery on... It's based on the front. Yeah, so yes. That's why I want to make sure. I guess that is a good topic for discussion. That we've not had to. Oh, look how cute this little mouse is! Mm -hmm. I don't think we've had creature type mouse before, but now mouse tribal's a thing. Cat dog. <laughs> Cat 
cat and dog. But didn't they mess it up? Didn't they do dog cat? Yeah. Should have been cat dog. Oh, here's your buy a box promo guy. He's in the actual packs? Yeah, he's worth like 30 cents. What? Yeah, he's poopy. I didn't know that they... They normally don't put those in the actual packs. Uh -huh. That's real weird. Why is this pack all like messed up? Check no, it out. it's because it's... It's uh, packed wrong. It's all packed full of expedition lines. Wow, that'd be pretty sweet. And, and, and yeah, and Sean gets... would have the heck of a payday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my last pack. I've only got two more. Oh, another foil rare. Oh, nice. So there's two foil rares and five mythics so far. <coughs> wow. And Roiling vortex and Tabarax. Luminark Aspirant. That seems good. So what do you guys think about the party mechanic? That seems to be the most uh, touch-and-go thing about this set. Like, what I've heard is everybody likes it, but it's not going to... It's not good. It's not good in, like, real... Play. Real play. Ox. More McKinney Ox. All right. My last pack. Let's see if we can get one more Mythic. Make the six mythics. But five mythics is a lot. That's yeah. what you were saying. Yeah. Nope, just the throne of McKinney. Throne. A lot of pathway lands. Yes, lots of pathway lands. Finish getting this sorted out. Ugh. Now we're just sorting. That's what. Look at all these cards. Like 20 bucks just got everybody here. Yeah. It's a pretty, pretty decent set. Like, uh, spread out. Spread out set. Not heavily into any... I'd say not a ton of multicolor color lists. No, so but that's there are how some, most magic sets. But there are some rares in the multicolor slots. Yep. I mean, your new guy do? He did good. 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 Yeah, he got a mythic. He got several rares. And that's just box one. Yeah, that's box one. That's not even our second box yet. Yeah, so... Peter's not excited about the party mechanic. Not excited. So. And I can't blame him because, like I said, not real good. Like, it. I, I think at best, it'll be something that you either try to draft around and then fail, or you just incidentally, you're like, oh, I've got a rogue and a wizard. They are in the same deck. Mm -hmm. And so I get, like, a little benefit. But I don't think any dedicated party decks are going to be a thing. No. Awesome. So that's our box break. Yes. Thank you, patrons, for signing up for our box break tier, and you just got lots of cards for $20. Yes. And then that's only the box, first box. You're going to get another box. So you're going to get lots of cards for $20. Yes. <laughs> so um, if you guys want to join in, $20. Patreon, go there. Sign up. Get your cards. Great way to collect your magic cards is this way. Yep. Helps us out. Helps you out. Helps out the kingdom. We buy all our product from the Kingdom Cards Games, which is a founder level tier. Of our good stuff there. Um, so is Matt. I don't know if we mentioned it, but we did. Um, we don't buy things from Matt, though. We don't buy anything. Matt doesn't have anything to sell. No. He could sell other things. Uh, so, yeah. Go to our social medias, do all the clicky things and yes. follows and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.